Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? This is Christian FGY. You're now tuned into Ill Vibe Theory, your number one source for uh, underground hip hop in the Vegas Valley. And um, right now, we're about to, we're going to bring on um, Reese, man. So we're going to bring him on. You guys ready for Reese? For sure, for sure. All right, man, for sure. Uh, yo, uh, yo, Reese, what's good, man? What's happening? Yo, what's good, man? You're now tuned to Ill Vibe Theory, man. We got Reese on the air. What's good, man? What up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> I'm chilling over here, um, kicking it with my partner, Little Turtle Shouty, and my nigga Slay, Slay the Monster. You know, right. we over here, we at the little studio over here, we're about to make some raps in the mini. Nice, man, nice. Sure, man. Happy you talking to us while you in there. <laughs> yep, exactly. That's an honor for and us. I'm, and I'm watching the new Dragon Ball Z movie while I'm at it, too. I oh, see. that's I'm out, man, that's out? Oh, I'm yeah, about to. You know, Ooh. Cool leg, everything. <laughs> I got to check that out, man. So, uh. To start off the interview, man, we wanted to start off with, um, man, how is it living in Atlanta, man? How is the scene out there, the hip hop scene and everything? Uh, it's turned. It, it, it's very turned, man. Like everybody, this is like everybody here rap. Like if you get pop, if you get popping in Atlanta, like you really, you you don't have to go nowhere. You can just stay inside at 285 and make your bread. But you know, a, a lot of labels, a lot of people, all the music that be cracking comes out of Atlanta. Besides, like. Kendrick or something besides like LA stuff. Like yeah, that. the all, South is all, dominant. All the, all the great stuff, everything comes out of Atlanta. True. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, speaking of Atlanta, I know you got a relationship with um Two Nine and a couple um other Atlanta spitters. Can you tell us about that relationship you guys have out there? Um, Two Nine is like, you know, that's that's family. Like, you know, I um, was one of the founding people in Two Nine, along with Curtis Williams and Keith. Two um, Nine and I came. You know, we we started that. Man, it used to be called Pilot Music before, but we started that in 2009. If anybody ever wondered what Two Nine stood for, then yeah. for 2009, that's when we all like clicked up and got together. So you know, those are my homies. Um, shout out to Trinidad James. That's that's a good friend of hey. mine. You know, yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> A lot, a lot of Atlanta people, man. Um, Fat Kid's brother, they're about to drop a new project called uh, East Side Paradise Two really soon. Actually, I'm on there. It, it's it's great, man. They they have like out of all the two nine projects, theirs is about to come out. It's like seriously my favorite. Um, y'all are gonna hear it soon. It's very awesome. Nice for sure, man. Nice. And uh, man, we I really got put onto your music with the designer trap mixtape, and it was it was <laughs> really. It's some really something to bump into the car. Um, I, I checked out that pull up video, and I wanted to see um, how'd you got you know I know you have some tracks with like Dom Kennedy and a, a couple of the West Coast. I know I saw like Anwar in the in the pull up video, and um, so can you tell us about that relationship with like I don't know the peas and carrots, the the West Coast. So, yeah, man, I used to live in L.A. Actually. So, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I like um, you know Anwar and Casey and all of them, all the peas and carrots dudes. They are like. And was like my brother, man. They're like really, really good, good friends of mine. Known them forever. Same goes with Dom Kennedy, you know, one of my close friends. Stuff like that, you know. It's just I used to live there. I skated, and I, you know, before I even did music, those were all my homies, you know. And I just kind of started getting into it, and then you know, we just built those relationships. It's just being friends, and then you know. Look at me now. I'm doing my thing now, so <laughs> I just hit the homies up. It's just, you know, they're just my friends, man. That's really it. Like, anybody in music that I really, like, mess with or look up to, I guess, or per se, is just, like, all my homies. That's it. That's tight. That's a good look, man. And um, the designer trap tape, I know. Uh, what was the concept behind that, man? I, I messed with the cover. You had a bunch of interesting things on there. A lot going from, on. From a panther to, like... <laughs> I don't know, man. You had you were wilding on there, man. What's good with that? Uh, I was on the dope when that cover got made. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> no, nah, really, it's um, like designer trap. And some people ask me what it stands for. It's it's not even about like trapping. It's just like the word trap now is so widely used and described as like a person going to work or their hustle. So my thing was it's like designer you know it's like whatever your artistic form is like if you rap if you do art like make you're a fashion designer whatever that's your trap uh, so this is music for people who getting their hustle on and making it happen and that's it nice. that's what it stands for just just you know trying to put a little positive quotations on it i guess 
No, that's dope. Man, I like that. I'm telling you, I bump like numbers all day. Like that's my track, bro. Like really. Yeah. That's that's the slap. Oh, man. Thank you. I like I like that song. I was uh I was high when I wrote that song too. I just was <laughs> like counting and stuff and I was like, yo, I'm about to make a song and just count numbers the entire time. Yeah, that that was that was the sick part about it though. I'm telling you. I was like, oh <laughs> and um I mean with all uh so speaking of trap, I know um so how'd you feel about uh, I know I saw um we saw Gucci Man actually tweet you about your music. Did you you know about this? Uh, how do you feel about that, man? Oh man, it was pretty tight. Like the funny thing is, I've met Gucci a million times. Like I've been in the studio with this man for almost two weeks straight, like every day. He just be so <laughs> joked out. <laughs> like he forgets so like and I, I had actually let him hear that song before and he said the same thing to me in person it's just funny that he actually tweeted it so that was pretty cool man like if you're gonna make some trap music i guess if you want to make that man like you you gotta you gotta shout out gucci man he's one of the pioneers in it along with gz and shorty red and Beethoven, you know stuff yeah. like that and um, I know uh, aside from just like Gucci, it, something that caught our eye that was re- pretty funny. I, I know you posted an Instagram post with with Terrio, man. How <laughs> how how'd you how'd you make that happen, man? Man, all right. I was in <laughs> my hotel room, like me and all the two nine guys. We were uh, it was doing Trill Electro, and my yes. friend Tune Day, um, he called me and was like, "Yo, I'm about to come up to your room." I'm like, "All right." So when I get a knock on the door and I open the door and it's Terrio. Yeah. He's like standing there. And I was like, you know what in the world? Like, what is going on right now? And then I asked Tunde, like, how did he get here? Apparently he manages Terrio. So, but yeah, he just like showed up. <laughs> yes, he showed up. <laughs> no, not that Tunde, no. Nah. Yeah, he just showed up at my door and I was like, whoa. And then, like, everybody was like freaking out. They was like, yo, is, is Terrio? And, like, they told him to do his little dance or whatever. He was, like, <laughs> he was shocked. Like, he was scared. Like, he didn't know what was going on because everybody was, like, Terry oh, man, that's, that's funny how that happened, though, randomly. But, um... Yep. To, to close up, basically, quickly, we, we do this segment called the Ill Vibe 5. We're going to ask you a quick, like, quick five quick, like, um, this or that questions that you just give us your quick, you know, answer, basically. Sure. So, um, you ready, man? Already. All right, let us your uh, let us know your ill vibe five man, Kobe or LeBron. I'm going with Kobe. <laughs> what? All right, uh, foreign or old school on the whips. Old school. All right, uh, Rihanna or Tiana Taylor. Rihanna for sure. Little turtle started over here saying T T. I'm going. I'm going with Rihanna. Okay. Little turtle. Little turtle made the first song on Designer Trapping. By the way, he made Mob It. Oh, where for sure. Yeah, turtles here. <laughs> All right, and um, Bape or Stussy? Ooh, that's like, uh, I can't answer that. That's like asking me, do I like bands or independent or something? I don't know. No. <laughs> yeah, bands or Jordans. Like, that's like the same thing. I can't answer that. Uh, All yeah. right, and uh, lastly, you know, coming from a hip-hop perspective, man, Pac or Big? Uh, I hate that question. I hate that question. <laughs> I know that's a really hard one. I, I hate that question. I mean, if the keeper one hundred, like, uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say big, but I mean, what? I really wasn't. I really go. wasn't. I really wasn't like a super duper fan of Tupac or Biggie like that to begin mm. with. But I'm gonna go with Big. I'm gonna go with Biggie. All right, most deaf man. We <laughs> we appreciate that yeah. man. And unfortunately, we don't have much time to speak uh, much more in the interview. But, man, we appreciate you coming through, man. And uh, we, we show you love, man. Ill Vibe Theory all the way out here in Las Vegas. Just know that Las Vegas got your music playing, man. For sure. We wanted um, to. Thank you. I'm sorry Bye. about that. And we wanted to give you the opportunity to, like, say any last comments you had about anything you're working on or what we yeah. can look forward to. Uh, let's see. I'm working on, like, three. I don't know. I'm working on, like, three projects right now. I just be working on stuff on um, we got a 29 project coming out with uh chuck english that oh, should be dope. coming out soon yeah um i'm working on my next project called playing out losers it's pretty dope um my little turtle over here is working on some stuff and my guy slayed the monster 
he made this track I got with Trinidad James called Chicks. It was on Reese Burst the World too. He's working on a project too, so I'm just I'm just working on everything. Rap, so rap, so rap. All right, most deaf man. All right, Give nice. A shout out to my mama. Everything light skin. Everything light skin. You feel me? <laughs> All right, cool. So can you just shout out Ill Vibe and let the people know one more time who you are? Man, I want to give a big shout-out to Ill Vibe out there in Las Vegas. And if you don't know, I am Reese. Yeah. I'm in Atlanta. And go get that designer trapping if you don't. You can get it off of www.reesefirsttheworld.com or you can go on live mixtapes, type in designer trapping. That's D-S-N-R-T-R-A-P-N. And it's on there. You can get that. Listen to that. Tell all your friends about it. Tell your mom about it. All that cool stuff. For sure, fam. Much love, man. Appreciate right, thank that. Thank you so much. Have a good day, okay? All right, for sure. All right. Thank have a good one. Bye. All right. This is member supported KUNV HD2 Los Angeles.